Welcome back. Thanks a lot for staying with us. The story that we are now bringing to you is coming from Tamil Nadu, where the Tamil Nadu Waf Board is being accused of land grabbing. The Waf Board allegedly obtained 57 acres of agricultural land at Vepur village of Ranipet district illegally. But the board has denied any foul play into the matter and instead blamed farmers for encroachment. CNN News 18 went on ground and launched a mega investigation. Let's take a look at this report that has been filed by my colleague Purnima Murli. Fifty-six-year-old Ramesh, who owns three acres of land in Tamil Nadu's Ranipet district, is a shattered man. The land, which he bought in 1980, has been transferred to the state work of board. They wait for 70 years. Every one of the Russian court will buy five money. Who are any guy out there that run? Work of lands are those endowed for charitable or religious use. Ramesh says. Despite submitting documents showing he legally bought the land, it was transferred to the work of board. We were asked to submit all the original documents. Two days later, the collector's office had told the media that my document was fake. We were heartbroken. When we came to know that our land has been transferred, we went to the collector's office for an explanation. There was no intimation from the collector's office before transferring our property. Two days later, teams came to our land to demolish the sheds and water pump set. When I tried questioning the officer, they asked me to move court and fight the case. Tamil Nadu Wakaf Board, in fact, has laid claim to over 57 acres of land in Vepur village. Another farmer, Palani, alleges teams were sent to lay claim to his 3.5-acre plot of land. A few officers came to our land. Police entered our agricultural land. I fainted after seeing them. I told them not to take away my land. They also bought a JCB. I threatened them with life, and my daughters came to my rescue. They said they have no one except me. I have five daughters, and we'll all rely on the agricultural land for a living. A Supreme Court order last year says land can only be transferred to the work of board after an open hearing and negotiation with the owners. The Tamil Nadu work of board says they have evidence of their claim on the land and are ready to hold negotiations with the other land owners. Out of 57 acres, some uh, portion of land has been already. disbursed to so many individuals in 60s and 70s mm-hmm. apart from that three and a half acres were left which are which is belonging to a uh, work of institution now one particular individual is claiming that it belongs to them mm-hmm. if it is belonging to him legally they can claim or they can challenge before the court of law also cnn news 18 spoke to the district administration who said they are awaiting a response from the land authorities they said and i quote a report has been sent to commissioner of land administration a response from them is awaited for further action wakaf board has claimed over 57 acres 3 acres have been transferred to them so far Was due process followed in the transfer for Ramesh? The answer holds little consolation. With Purnima Murli, Ishita Bhadri, CNN News 18. So before we bring in our guests, let's first talk to you about the big allegations against the Waf Board and Walker locals and residents saying as far as the transfer of property is concerned. Let's break down all those details to understand this story better that we just played out. in this ground report now the first charge is that the waf illegally acquired several lands in tamil nadu this is what we heard from multiple residents that despite all of them having all the required documents they were later told that their property in fact had been transferred to the waf the second charge is that the waf obtained 57 acres land in vepur village illegally here the waf is saying that if you want to contest any of this you have the option of taking it legally to the courts the third charge is this 57 acre land was owned by 30 families in vepur here again the waf is saying that this in fact was encroachment as far as the farmers are concerned 
Wolf trying to illegally obtain agricultural land is what the farmers and local residents are saying. The other charge is lands being taken away without any prior notice. And this is what is causing a lot of heartache to all these residents who are saying that one, we had no prior notice. Two, we have all the documents. So why have our lands been transferred to the WAF? Let's bring in our guests to try and understand what really is happening. We have Uma Anandan, BJP leader and vice president, Temple Worshippers Society. We also have Jagdish Farhan, the uh, political analyst. Good to have both of you on the broadcast with us. Uma Anandan, let me begin the conversation with you. What really is happening? This is extremely baffling. You have residents there crying on the ground saying, we have all the documents that are needed. We were given no prior notice. And someday we wake up and somebody tells us that, you know, your property has been transferred to the WAF. How does this even happen? Because the WAF is saying this is, in fact, encroachment by the farmers. Ma'am, could you unmute yourself, please? Okay, we'll just try and re-establish the connection. But Jagdishwaran, let me begin the conversation with you then. What really is happening? The farmers there are saying we have all the documents that are needed, but we've still lost our land. Why? See, uh, this is not just a separate issue. I would say uh, there are temple being temples being encroached. There are... Uh, uh, lands of uh, Waf board being encroached. There are so many encroachments in, in Ter Tamil Nadu. I don't want to bring a religious mm. angle into it mm. uh, because I know uh, people, uh, I know uh, various religion people uh, encroaching in uh, temple land, various en people encroaching Waf land, uh, even the land belonging to some churches. So this has been happening for a long time. That's why it became a legal issue. Mm. Uh, I, I know uh, the, the, the encroaches, the temple encroaches are being removed after DMK came into power. Uh, the encroaches in Waf land are being removed. It is becoming a, a huge issue. I mean, I don't want to uh, get into this uh, face value. Of, I, I read many articles which saying uh, these, these are Hindu agriculturists and uh, a Muslim uh, organizations. I, I don't mm -hmm. want to get into the tangle because these encroaches, I, I don't think uh, uh, they belong to that particular religion and their mm -hmm. particular religion is trying to grab it. Because I know there are land all over Tamil Nadu where there are encroaches in temple land, I mean mm -hmm. Hindu temples land. And there are, uh, and the government is trying to get the land from the Hindu people. There, the, 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 the second Hindu encroaches encroaching the Hindu temple land. Yeah, it is happening all over Tamil Nadu. This is happening for a long time after, especially after DMK. Because DMK promised that they will uh, hmm. get back the uh, get back the land from the encroaches, be it a temple. No, land, but I just want to talk land, just specifically as far as this case is concerned, where farmers are saying that they one have all the documents. Some farmers are also saying we'd submitted all these documents to the collector's office also. There was no communication that happened with the farmers from the collector's office. Days later, in fact, they picked it up from the local media that their land had been transferred to the WAF, which once again raises question as far as the sweeping pass that the WAF has under the act as well. Yeah, see, I read the story. I mean, that specific story and uh, it says it, it originally belonged to somebody called Wakab who hmm. again gave, uh, he didn't pay the debts and he gave it to the uh, uh, people, these agriculturists who are now the 30s agriculturists who are here. And the Wafki is trying to take it back. But when I read the minister's statement, the minister Gandhi's statement, he is saying it actually belongs to the Wafki land and these are actually encroachers who are trying to take the land. We uh, Unless we get into this uh, legal, I mean, unless it gets into the court, I don't think we'll know which, which side is right because I've been into these kind of issues uh, where there are encroachers one on one side and... Uh, uh, the government taking and and most of the times they we don't get the real story we don't we don't get the actual story there could be a uh, cooked up stories from both the sides we we don't we do not know it because we cannot take the statements in just in face value there could be uh, issues in both the sides and I think unless it goes to the uh, court uh, uh, I don't think it will be solved but I think the district characters would have been right because the district characters uh, they don't uh, they don't have to uh, be on one side and uh, take this. And the minister, he is saying uh, the, 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 the land actually belongs to the Wafgod and we are trying to get the land even not from here, from, from even from other districts in Trichy, Velour, there are so many buff land that are being encroached upon and we are trying to take it. So we will not uh, know the exact issue unless we it, it gets into a court or to some arbitration. No, no, but what about the documents that these residents and these farmers have? They have to have some sort of value, right? This is what the yeah, farmers course, are saying, that due then, process was think, followed the when they acquired the land. Works? So if yeah, due process course. wasn't followed, they shouldn't have had the documents also. So do you think the collector made a mistake or the collector made a mistake of not verifying the documents or the revenue officials, they didn't verify the documents and they mm. transferred it to work code? It cannot, it cannot be that way, right? Because these are 30 agriculturists. I, I mean, if they're really agriculturists and if they're 30 agriculturists, I, I, I don't think it can be easily. It can happen just like that. 
that somebody can fetch their uh, put their uh, pick, pick up the land and give it to the vakfo did not happen that way because uh, uh, there, there could have been bigger issue uh, they, i think hindu munani is working beyond it uh, behind it i think bjp uh, will rack up this issue mm. i think h raja is again racking up this issue so uh, if if that is true if if somebody who was who's passing the actual documents and if the collector is uh, standing on the work mm. side I, i think this would have been bigger issue so unless we get into the actual facts i don't think uh, what they claim could be true or false right okay. or wrong but i want to ask you do you think it's time for us to look at the sweeping powers that have been given to the waf because if you draw comparison and just for the benefit of our viewers the kind of powers that the waf today enjoys is almost the same as far as the civil courts and that is why possibly you seeing uh, the claims that are being made today by the farmers who are saying we don't know where to go today no see the, the farmers i think uh, as i said the farmers they themselves maybe may not have the power to go or the uh, yearnings to go to a court i think there are other organizations working behind it uh, the, the hindu minority organizations working behind it bjp could be helping since they feel uh, it, it is against of uh, uh, muslim organization so they mm. could be they could they could help them they could obviously take them to a court that's what i'm saying okay. uh, you don't have to uh, they you can always go to the court you can get a uh, mm. stay order uh, or you can go take to this arbitration why are they not doing it why are they not uh, 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 taking to the collector why are they not taking to the minister and and talking to because the of court they said they are ready to talk with them they are uh, they are open okay. for uh, talks and, and that's what i hear from the of court so i, I th- what i'm saying is what i'm saying is i'm not supporting of court i'm not sure. supporting the 30 mm. agriculturists for law who claim to have lost the land but the issue we will not know the real issue because okay. uh, 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 what what is uh, reported could could not have been correct okay. that's what i mean so we'll have to see if this goes through through a legal route and what comes out of it Unfortunately I'll have to leave that conversation there thanks a lot for joining us here on scene in news 18 we now shifting our focus to some breaking developments